Hey guys, it's Claire and I'm in my kitchen today preserving some strawberries. Three pounds, 10 ounces of strawberries that we picked this morning. I thought you might want to come along with us. One thing I do want to note is that after I harvested the strawberries, I rinsed them and now they have some vinegar added into the solution. And don't be surprised if you see a little critter When you have an organic garden, you never know the friends you're gonna find. <laughs> so we're gonna take the harvest from this morning. I'm gonna hold them, and then I'm gonna put them all in this big, steep pot. Hi. And bring them to a boil. And this is actually coming from the recipe book from Well Preserved. And it's strawberry balsamic jam on page 95. I'll put a link down below. If you have any tips on growing strawberries, please leave us a comment, not just for you know my sake, but everybody who reads the comments gets to learn from your wisdom too. So it's a really nice way to share and to learn from one another. And of course, we love getting to know all of you guys. So tell us about yourself as well while you're down there. We answer every comment. And um, I'm just gonna keep working on this and I'll bring you with me when I get to the next spot. Okay guys, so I just got all of the strawberries done and it was a little bit over four cups, about four and a half cups. So when I look at my recipe, what it shows me is that that's about half of this recipe. But then I notice that it says eight cups washed and hold is about one and a half pounds. Well, I know that I weighed these at three pounds, 10 ounces. So in theory, I have more than double what this recipe calls for. And I think this is important because the ratio of the sugar and the butter and the balsamic vinegar is all depending on how many strawberries I have. So what I want to do now is weigh the strawberries and see if my four and a half cups of strawberries is actually how much it actually weighs in pounds. I want to just confirm it is what I want to do. So hang tight. All right. So here's the bowl I'm going to use. And I got to tell you. One of our most popular videos, um, I mean like really popular when I was doing the square foot gardening comparison, I did not zero out the container size and I did all this math in my head and people flipped out. I mean, I got so many comments. So listen, I've learned, I just hit the button, I've zeroed out the container. So let's see what my four and a half cups of hold strawberries is going to look like. Okay, so two pounds, 12 ounces is what I've got. And this cookbook clearly says about one and a half pounds. So I think what I'm going to do is section out, get this to one and a half pounds, and I'll just use these for something else. Okay, that's about... Well, I'm going to need a measuring cup. Is this right? There's no way this is right. What am I missing here, people? Math was my weakest class. I mean, like, I just really struggled with it. So I don't know what I'm missing here, but I'm obviously missing something. So this is where I'm calling on all of you expert cooks, harvesters, like, what's happening here? I'm going to make the recipe based on the one and a half pound, not based on the eight cups. And I guess we'll know in a minute if it was the right decision or not. <laughs> Pour those in, bring them to a boil, and then I'm gonna add five cups of sugar. Okay, so I have a teenage daughter who loves to bake, which I love because I think that's such a constructive habit, you know, to be able to have good good things that you can do when you're stressed or wanting to unwind, stuff like that. But I need to get better about remembering she bakes and I don't restock the sugar frequently enough. So I don't know that I have five cups of sugar. So this is going to get really interesting. <laughs> All right, I found another bag. Let me see if I can at least get this to two cups. Okay, we might be okay. I think, okay, that's three cups right there. And then I need four or five. My lord. Dawn's gonna get home from work and be like, what in the hell required every measuring cup we own? So one, two, three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
three and a half. Also five. Can I like get away? And it's just a less sweet jam. So I could technically just use less sugar, but these strawberries are not very sweet. And so I think they're gonna need the help from the extra sugar. I could add agave, I could add honey, or I could add light brown sugar. I think for the purposes of measuring apples to apples, and I know that might sound stupid because maybe the amounts are the same, I'm gonna stick to light brown sugar because I can measure it out just like this. And I suspect that the light brown sugar is just gonna deepen the flavor which I think would be really nice with the butter and the balsamic. So I'm hopeful this is a good decision. But we will know soon enough. That's four. I'm just gonna toss in the rest of this bag as well. So let me go get the sugar into the strawberries. That really did not take long. Sorry about the fog, you guys. Here, is that better? I mean, those are really boiling. And remember, there was just a little bit of the water in there. That's it. It's pretty cool. Y'all, that looks like an, a lot of sugar for these strawberries. I don't know. I think maybe that one and a half pound measurement, surely that cannot be correct. You can see those strawberry juices are loving that sugar. Okay, so this is um, a taste test. Okay, it is sweet. It is super sweet, like sweeter than I would make anything. But it doesn't necessarily taste too sweet. And I'm wondering if once I get that balsamic and that butter in there, if that's not going to be just perfect. So maybe it is right, and I am just a total moron. It's very possible. So I'm going to add a little bit of butter just to help with this foaming, okay? I'm going to toss that in right now. It would be so much easier if I wasn't doing this one-handed, but... Look how much liquid flavor comes out of those strawberries. So there's this thing in the cooking world called mise en place, and it's what you do before you start a recipe. It's you get all your ingredients together, and it just helps your recipes go more smoothly. Um, you guys may know I own a market deli downtown Atlanta. Um, this is like something I know how to do, and I believe in. So why in God's name I started filming this video today without doing any of that, I don't know. Um, but you've already seen that... Um, I didn't have enough sugar and I just went to get the balsamic and realized I, I have this much left. Like literally that is not five tablespoons and I need five tablespoons. I have red wine vinegar, I have white wine vinegar, I've got rice wine vinegar, I've got more rice vinegar, I've got red wine vinegar, I've got sherry vinegar, apple cider, I've got a big one of this. Plus, I have the homemade oregano vinegars that we made. Um, I've got an orange and lemon citrus vinegar that we make here. Um, and yet, this is all I have of balsamic. So, um, what I'm going to use is I'm going to use the balsamic and I'm going to use the rest of this. And the reason why is that this is a white balsamic. It does have a cara cara orange flavor, which I think is delicious. And I think it'll complement the strawberries very, very nicely. So my hope is between the two balsamics, I get five tablespoons and it'll actually add some nice depth to the recipe, but we'll find out. So guys, I'm about 10 minutes away from this boiling down for 40 minutes. Look at how dark purple that has become. And I just had a taste test of it. It's delicious. So I do think that ratio was right. I'm so glad. What I was thinking is that I only had four and a half cups, so I was gonna reduce it by half. I'm really, really grateful for the moment of clarity to stop and take and weigh that out. What do you think, Reg? You agree? Okay, good. Thank you for sharing. Okay, guys, so we've been saving. Hang on, let me move this out of the way. Ooh, these things are hot. I really, last year when we had a, oh, it doesn't fit totally though. Last year we had a mason jar crisis. Crisis might be too strong of a word, but we really were struggling to find jars and lids for pickling. And I think that's because of the pandemic and the food shortage supplies, everybody kind of, you know, stockpiled. And um, 
it became really obvious to me how expensive glass is and how some of the stuff is in limited supply. So we started, when we do buy jarred things, we have been trying to buy them when they're packaged in glass jars. And then we're recycling the glass jars. This is a Bertoli's um, pasta sauce. And you know, why not, right? Let's see if I can get this and not knock it all over. So, you know, that's a little thing that like five years ago, I didn't even think twice about. I didn't think about saving glassware that my food was coming in. And now it's like, wow, that's a really valuable part of the product that I'm paying for. And it's glass, so it's reusable. So it really makes it a better value. Can you see that stickiness, you guys? That's the jam. I mean, it's like the jam, and then that's also like my jam. These are going to just cool, and obviously they're gonna really thicken. Cause look how, whoa. Look how thick that is kind of already. I'll clean this one up. We'll eat off this one first because it's not full. It is really fun to be able to go out to your yard, harvest the strawberries. Like I said, last week we thought we were getting everything we were gonna get because we're not sure which type of strawberry we, pl we planted. So to have a second week that was even bigger is pretty awesome. And we're leaving some for the birds and the critters and that just, you know, feels good. So um, I have really been having a lot of fun with this. And I know those of you that have been gardening or growing food for a long time, you're like, uh-huh. And for those of you that are new, I get to see some of you on the Facebook pages I'm on. And it's just really fun to like see your excitement and your enthusiasm because I know exactly what you're talking about. And you know, this is what my fourth year of really serious growing like this. But I've been growing in containers and backyard gardens for a while. Um, but I still get excited. I still get excited when I walk outside and see stuff. So thanks for being with us today. Uh, we certainly love having you here and we'll see you next week.